Ever wonder what the longest Uber ride ever was? Well, one driver has clocked the longest ride in history. We're gonna tell you just how long it was right now on IO. What is up, people? This is Inform Overload. My name is Charlotte, and welcome back to the channel. If you wanted to know what an IO shirt looks like, it's right here. It's pretty snazzy, eh? Before I get into this video, what was the longest Uber ride you have ever taken? I think mine was only around 40 minutes, but that's nowhere near as long as this one. So guys, we all know that Uber has great prices, and it's a really cheap way to travel. But is it cheap to travel over 400 miles? Well actually, the price is not that crazy, it's around the same price as flying. An Uber driver that goes by the name of Janice Rogers picked up a customer outside of a Ben & Jerry's in Virginia. The customer asked how far north Janice would go, because she said she wanted to go to Brooklyn to see her boyfriend. Well, Janice said that she would drive the whole way. They drove for 7 hours and 42 minutes and it cost her customer only $297. Only $297. If you had taken a taxi and gone the same amount of time and the same distance, it would have cost $1,182. I know what you're thinking, that must have sucked for the Uber driver. She would have had to drive all the way home too. Apparently Janice drove all the way there and back and didn't even use a restroom the entire day. She arrived at 4 in the morning after driving almost 800 miles. Her customer curled up with a blanket and slept the entire way in the back of her Prius. According to Janice, the girl seemed young, around 19 or 20, and when they arrived, she didn't seem that excited to see her boyfriend. Which is like kind of odd, why would you spend $300 to see your boyfriend if you weren't excited to see him? She also didn't offer to give Janice a tip, which is like, ugh, low key kind of mean. Janice worked it out and she only made around $9 per hour from the $300 she earned after deducting tolls and gas costs. I actually looked it up and it costs around $200 to fly from Virginia to New York. That doesn't include baggage or commuting to the airport. So it's pretty comparable, unless you don't want to spend 8 hours in a car. But I mean, it sounds like this customer kind of just wanted to go on a whim and she did it. Maybe if she had done a little more research, she would have known that the bus only costs $45 and a train costs $95. Still though, according to Janice, she did the trip because she wanted an adventure. Apparently Janice didn't even know that this Uber trip was a record breaker. She put two and two together when one of her riders googled longest Uber ride and a story popped up about another ride that was only 320 miles from Santa Barbara to Palo Alto in 20. Uber has not responded to the story at the time that this video was filmed. Alright, that's all for that story, I'll now respond to some comments. Dylan McWilliams said, Thank you guys, you helped me pass my test. I'm glad to hear it. Has IO ever helped you guys pass a test in school? Let us know, it's great to hear that our videos help you learn and remember things. I definitely remember almost every word I've ever spoken in an IO video. Ethan Lin said, If you're reading this, you are amazing! Thanks Ethan, you are amazing. You're amazing, and you're amazing, you're all amazing, and I hope you have an awesome day. And also so if you're interested in purchasing some IO merch, the link is posted down below in the description. That is all for now. Thanks for watching IO and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.